Yeah. So you have to be careful. Would but we I'm, want to turn the power off before we do this? Yeah, you should uh, mm -hmm. turn the cold water supply off. Mm -hmm. And uh, you turn, guys, if you have electric, you turn the, turn the breaker off. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that, well, first you turn the breaker off. And then you turn the, the, the valve, shut the water off. Because the reason for that is the elements, you know, they can fly or break or whatever if there's no water in the tank. Mm -hmm. And after you turn the power off, turn the cold water off, and you drain the tank, then you'll fill the tank up first before turning the breaker so that uh, you don't uh, fry the elements. From that, um, don't you want to have like one of the faucets open so you don't create a vacuum? No, actually, so yeah, it? and it will drain faster, yeah. If you open uh, the hot side of the faucet, you, the, this will drain faster and you won't have that vacuum. That's correct, yes. Uh, you had another question on the, the, the pipe that comes off the uh, safety valve. I've seen it where it goes uh, under the floor of the house, and mm. this would be a house with no basement. Uh, Is that permitted? No, it's uh, it's not. It's it's a code violation to terminate that that, that pipe in a crawl space because if there's a problem, nobody would know. That's why if it's terminated outside, chances are you're out, you're walking around your house or whatever, you would see that 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 water. But if in the crawl space and they, that it, the valve is leaking, malfunction, you could have a lot of water in your crawl space and you never know because nobody ever, pe anyone, people sell them going to crawl space except there's a problem. Right. And so you can't terminate it in the crawl space. So it's okay to route it through, uh, for instance, I had in mind in a utility room, is it okay to route it through the wall on the outside of the house? Yeah, you could go to the rim joist uh, on the outside of the house. You know, the rim joist, you know, that in any house you got the floor joist, you know, going either this way or that way. And then they wrap the rim joist with a, they wrap the joist with that rim joist, that other two by member, two by four, whatever, two by six, two by eight member. So you got that, that rim joist and you terminate, you put a 90 degree fitting looking downwards. That way, in case the valve, you know, just so happen if that, gives all of a sudden, if somebody is walking by, the, the, the water is diverted to the ground instead of the water just going straight out and, you know, hitting someone's leg or whatever and scalding them. So when you drain the water heater and you try to get the sediment out, do you need to do anything else, like as far as like cleaning the tank out, just draining it is enough? Yeah, just drain it. You know, once you drain it, probably you could just run cold water through, you know, to, uh, you know, flush it out some more. Okay. Because, yeah. you know, you always get these things in the mail, they're like, you flush it, and clean out your tank, and blah, 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 and they always want to, like, charge you a lot. So it always seems like when I get these little postcards in the mail, like, yeah. or whoever, mm -hmm. like, it sounds like they're going to do all this stuff, but really, all you need to do is just drain it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if you have a gap. Yeah. Yeah, if you have a gap. That's stuff that's in your faucet drainers. The what? You know when you unscrew out the, the thing on your faucet? Yeah, the aerator on the faucet. And the aerator and you tap it out and there's all that crud in there? Yeah. The rust from the pipes? Right. That's what's in the bottom of the water heater. Right. That's correct, yeah. But you know, for the average person, it's just a little scary about, you know, the water heater, you know, the scary you hear about water heaters exploding and what, like stuff like that. And, uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to, if you have a gas fire, you don't want to be bothered with uh, with gas, you know, because the gas water, you, you, you turn the gas off and then you got to relight that, uh, that, that, that pilot. pilot, yeah. But today, a lot of the water heaters are electronic ignition. So, I mean, it's easy. You turn the gas back on and you, you know, you could just hit like that button and it, it would, uh, it would light. You don't have to get a match and, you know, with the pliers or something. The old days. In there, huh? yeah. The old days. Yeah, the old days, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, have, I have another question when you're through. Uh -huh. the, in the cold intake, there's that big tube that goes down through the water heater. How often do those disintegrate or fall apart? Yeah. Oh. I just had I mine replaced, it just, it and my water uh, heater is not that old. So, uh -huh. And we have never had enough hot water for one person to take a shower. Yeah, that's our problem. Well, unless I want to 
Yeah. Well, I mean, you get a lot of calcium deposits and stuff like that. It's well, now that they just, I just paid a fortune, which I could have done it myself, and mm -hmm. I understand the part is like six dollars. Yeah. And I paid a hundred and seventy dollars to have someone come out and replace it, which if I would have done something before, I would have known how to do it. It was easy. <laughs> well, I guess I guess you got to pay for the guy to drive his truck out there. I'm not justifying saying well, the price is expensive, but you know, it's a, it's it's it's, a, it's not high or whatever. But so, how often does you know, that tube fall apart? It depends on how often you, you, you flush the, uh, the tank out or the, the type of water quality you have, you know, whether it's got a lot of iron or magnesium. Our city water is good water. I mean, there's, there's not a lot of crud in our water, and we don't have the iron pipes anymore, so there's not a lot of crud in it. And uh, we flush ours every six months. And you still have that have the problem? I have a feeling that they said that it was the year they had defective ones. <laughs> And it probably came with none of them. It didn't have that tube in it originally. Yeah, this is the tube you're talking about, the dip tube, right? Yeah. yeah the one they the... gave us was all blue, but yeah. yeah, this one is clear. But uh, yeah, this is what takes the water. Sometimes they break too, you know. Uh, this is what takes the That's cold water mean. to the bottom of the tank to heat yeah, the water. To heat the water, yeah. Well. Now that they've replaced it, we actually have hot water, and two people can take a shower or more if there were more people in the house. But before, you had, we had enough water to last maybe five minutes on full bore hot, and then if you didn't finish washing your hair or something, too bad because it's going to be cold really quick. Okay. Did you check the thermostat on the water heater? It was all the way on, it's super hot. Now I'm going to have to go down and turn it down. That yeah. was missing. It wasn't even in there. Oh my oh. god. So the dip tube was missing, so the, it didn't have the. It wasn't diverting the cold water to the bottom. Of the yeah, we were only getting hot water on the top, yeah. and that was yeah. it. How, far, how long was your dip tube? That your old one that you took out was there it was like no old. there wasn't there one. Was no old. We didn't even have a dip tube. So is that how you replace it? You just unscrew the top there and just get a new one at Home Depot. Is that yeah, how? because yeah, most home. You just unscrew it and then you just. Put those down, okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, yeah, see, it's right in the top there, you know, and it has a flange so it doesn't fall into the right into the tank. Yeah, and you just unscrew uh, this glass fitting, you know. Yeah, pretty much all the homes would have they would either have this type of flex connector and they'll have a union because the idea of a union, you know, I don't know if you even know what a union is like two parts of a. Ah. <coughs> See a union, a union fitting has a, uh, it's like two halves and uh, you can, you know, there's this nut in the middle. Once you loosen that nut, it's like two halves, it comes apart. And th this, that type of fitting should be installed in the water heater or they can have these, these type of flex connections so that you can uh, remove the hot water if you got to replace it or, you know, service it, maintenance with a dip tube or anything, anything like that. Why do you need to replace that tube for every six months? No, no the draining of the water heat every six months. Why do you have a tube? Oh, so that tube stay there, you don't have to replace it. Right. No. I want to know, do they fall apart? Because I didn't have one. Oh, oh, oh. And you do yeah. need to flush the water every six months. That's what the manufacturers recommend. What would you recommend? Uh, well, we follow the manufacturer instructions. I mean, I would. Uh, He's a city. Worker. You could just, <laughs> you can, uh, you know, try to just flush maybe five gallons, and if it's if the water is clean, there's no problem. Just that's it. You don't have to drain the whole heater. But I recommend draining the whole heater every six months. But uh, maybe every three months you could, you know, drain, uh, you know, drain it with five gallon bucket and see, and not drain the entire heater. Just drain some of the water off, and then you probably won't have to. Uh, turn the gas off and turn the electric off, you know, because you're only draining off five gallons. Well, the sediment's going to be at the end of the water drain. Huh? You don't get any sediment at the beginning. Yeah, but I mean, if you're running water at the end, it probably will disturb what's in the bottom, and it's going to drain out. You know, when that water hits the bottom, you know, that whatever the pressure is, 50, 50 PSI, it would, uh, you know, and you have that valve going, it might loosen up those deposits, and, you know, they just, they, they will drain. But wouldn't you be able to...